Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. Today is episode four. Like I promised you guys, 60 videos are dropping this month of May. So you have, you have been not uh, watching other videos that I've done. Kindly go and check them out and let's get down into this video. So today we are analyzing USD card and I want us to get a bigger picture of what is happening with USD card. Because let me tell you, this, this pair is not for beginners. Like um, it's not easy for beginners because if it, it trends, it usually trends in one side. So if you're caught up in the wrong direction, it can blow your account. So USD card, whenever you get the strategy correct, whenever you are able to read even from the bigger uh, time frame and then you drop down to lower time frame, you can make good money because it does not retrace much. Once it decides it wanna sell, trust me, it is gonna sell for days. If it needs, if, if it decides to buy, it will buy for this. So it is a bit tricky for beginners, but for someone with a good strategy, USD card is one of the favorite pairs that you can pick. Now, because it's a new month of May, let's do a top-down analysis. So USD card monthly. Let me go to monthly. So this is USD card monthly, guys. And um, like I told you, we look three things only, price action, market structure, and forex pattern. So for the price action, we can see that we have a rejection candle. So we don't know, uh, this is a spinning top. And I believe that the market is, it's rejecting both sides. The sellers are getting rejected and then the market went up and rejected buyers. So it's mostly spinning tops does not give us a spinning top like a, like a shooting star. Because let me give you a difference between shooting star and, and spinning top. So this is the this is a difference. This is the shooting star. That's a shooting star, guys. And shooting star basically it tells us that buyers have been defeated because the market was once here and now the market is selling. But the, for the shooting star, you don't understand who now won that market. Why? Because both sellers and buyers have been into war. Like sellers don't want to to give up and buyers don't want to give up so in a monthly candle if you're given such a spinning top this candle it is very hard to say who won it from the price action perspective we can't really say if it is buyers or sellers so let's go to the next from the market structure from the market structure, I can tell you that this is a very good consolidation. Like this market has been ranging for quite a while. So the market has been ranging. So from the market structure, I can tell you that how many months we will count with you. All these months, the market has been ranging in one place, meaning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All in a year because this market entered this zone September last year. And... Um, we are in we are in we are in May and still the market is in the same zone. So from the market structure again, just like that candle could not give us a clear indication who is in control. Even the structure, the market structure, we can only know who is in control if the buyers break this channel or sellers break this channel. So this is the only way we analyze um the patterns are uh, the, the charts from higher time frame. So the last but not least is the Forex pattern. And for me, I really struggled before I saw this double top. There's a double top here, guys. It is not easy to see it because you might think it is an obvious trade, but we have that double top in mind. So let me remove that ranging market. Can you see that double top? And the reason why I'm saying it is double top, not possible double top, is because if we check clearly, our half has been broken. Whenever our half is broken, the turn, the, the double top uh, ceases from possible to an actual double top. So this is a market, this is a double top. And we don't know if the market now, it is attempting to come back to the neckline so that they can attempt to break the neckline. So everything is speculation, but probably uh, possibility of them coming down to the neckline is higher than this market. So USD card, I would be supporting sell than buy. Even if I don't enter that sale immediately, I'll be supporting sellers more than buy from monthly perspective. 
Now let's go to weekly chart. This is what we have from the weekly chart. So from the weekly chart, we don't have the double top that we are seeing on the monthly. You see now, and this becomes the problem because we don't have that confidence. That's what I was saying. You can never have confidence if two time frames are talking two different things. You want time frame alignment so that you can have confidence of holding long term. But whenever one time frame speak a double top and the other one double bottom, you can't hold for long. You, yes, you can hold for days, but you can't hold for long. So we have a, 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 the, double, the double top was never activated and the market now has activated a double bottom. And you see, we have a double bottom. So when I was analyzing this double bottom and this is our neckline, when I was analyzing this market, I came to realize that the market has failed. The market has failed to break her. So I came to realize why wow, the market has, the price did not break half. And you see, when the price has not broken half, a possible double bottom, price failing to break half for so many weeks. One, two, three, four, four, five good weeks. This trade is, it is in danger, danger zone, um, uh, danger zone, because if they break here, the market can buy all the way. But with other time frames, we can be told early data of what will happen. So this is a good thing. It's a good indication that this market might be promoting the sell that is on the monthly because monthly has declared a sell. So from weekly perspective, we have this possible double bottom that has failed for five months to break half. So let's go to weekly. When we go to weekly, we still have the same double bottom, but we can see on weekly they broke and immediately came down. So from the weekly time frame, if you are checking only weekly, you could have bought and the market could have taken you down. Like you could have seen, oh, the market has broke and then you enter sale. You could have beat 95 pips negative. The reason why this market broke and never continued up is because they are sharing what? They are sharing a double bottom so both weekly time frame and daily time frame has a double bottom and that makes it harder for for alignment so one can break and weekly fails to break still we cannot consider that double top double bottom a confirmed double bottom so let's go down to weekly uh, to four hour because from daily there's nothing much we want we want actually confirmation on weekly and now four hour so when I was analyzing for hour, I saw something very, very interesting with USD card. The market has broke that range. Can you see? We broke this ranging. And once we broke this ranging, I was just calculating uh, that distance, the ranging distance. And you can see it is almost being covered. Now the problem is the market has consolidated now in a zone that we can be having a possible double bottom. But this possible double bottom is easier to monitor it uh, because if at all the market breaks that zone that I have marked, if the market breaks 35.23, this market will turn to cap and handle, inverted cap and handle. And how does inverted cap and handle look like? So let me delete so that we have a clean page. I'm saying, on four, we have this simple pattern called double bottom. And then, and the reason why we want to sell is because the channel was broke. So the market was on a ranging channel, broke, and it is covering the distance around here. So that's why we are looking on sales because there's those, those flags, green flags, like you continue looking for the sell opportunity. So the only problem now is this possible double double bottom. And this possible double bottom, of course, double bottom promotes a what? A buy. So this possible double bottom, it looks like that. So it has, it can create a cup and handle whenever the market breaks that. So guys, if you're watching this video, USD card, you should pay attention on power. Kindly note what will happen after this. Will it break down? And you see, we are not biased. We will move to the direction. So we need to break down or up. And then you don't stop there. You don't stop there. This market is might be going up to 3371. 
might sell up to 3371. We won't rest, we won't uh, end there. You would want to know where is my half? Where is my half? You would want to know is my half. So if at all this half is broken, trust me, the market will go back to where it came from. So guys, that's why I keep saying that Forex is, you need a lot of patience because when where the market is, you cannot make a decision like a buy or sell because there is no structure on that. So we need a lot of patience so that we can allow the market to play out. We can allow the market to give us clues, to give us footprints, to give us all these things so that we can hope in and make sure that we have made something. Guys, I want to finish from uh, finish with this statement. USD card, you can only sell if you are a short-term trader. If you're a long-time trader, you, <laughs> you can be on this sale because monthly is supporting a sale. But if you're an trade trader, you are a scalper, you'd want that confirmation. So USD card, let's wait for confirmation. I'll be doing a recap. I'll always do a recap on what the market did so that we can see if it did as we expected. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like and comment. Bye-bye. Love you.